The panel was discussing the future of wellness. Well-being in the workplace has moved from a marginal subject to a mainstream one. And everybody's thinking about how can we improve experience and well-being in the workplace rather than thinking about efficiency and productivity. Because if we don't have a contented and engaged workforce, you're never going to have raised performance. Wellness in the workplace is important because people are at the heart of the workplace. And if we really want to try and address their health and well-being, we need to be able to understand the built environment impacts that we can have on their health. So the things that we as designers need to be thinking about are appropriate lighting, appropriate water quality and hydration, being able to move people around a space by providing activated workspaces. We need to understand material components and their impact on our health. And we need to look at temperature and thermal behavior inside a space. Those are some of the key criteria to keeping people happy and healthy in their workplace. The key about well-being is understanding that we're all different. We all have different ways of operating, different ways of behaving, different needs. And how does architecture encompass and allow for that to happen in a smooth and efficient way? So as architects, we design buildings, but what we actually design is the experience of people and users. So it is really important for us to create a space that promotes health and wellness, creativity, collaborations, you know, all these kind of things that you don't see is what we create wellness. So wellness is becoming really important at work, we're finally recognising it as important because technology is making the world go faster, making competition even harder, and we need all of our team on side. Uh, making our companies as best as they possibly can. And we finally recognise that if our staff aren't well, they can't be as productive as they possibly could be.